Hello, everybody. Um, I'm kind of squeaky. I am so sorry. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to move you guys. That works a little better. I know I'm really backlit, but I've got a lamp right here, and if I turn it off, it's gonna be super dark. Um, so I'll just lean forward. So I moved a couple weeks ago, which is why you're seeing a brand new background. Um, this doll over my shoulder here, this that one right there, my dad got me when I was seven, I think. And the bookcase it's sitting on, he actually made when he was in high school. So it's super cool. Um, I love our new house. We are closer to everything, work and church and town and all that stuff. Um, then I, I'm going to turn you around um, so you're not facing me, but you will still be able to hear me so I've got my bed and my Disney wall some more stuff um, that's one of my closets I made that painting my pantry pantry there it is um, there we go pantry Fridge, freezer, coffee maker. Love that little area. I just added that, those photos. Got that bookshelf. I've got this bookshelf behind me. More dolls. Um, and I'm currently sitting at my own desk, which happens to be a table. Yes, my desk is a table, but, um, that's okay with me, but, um, it's pretty cool because my pantry has, like, all my glasses and my storage containers and plates and bowls and, um, <coughs> excuse me, so my food, um, Oh, and also over here at the end of my bed, I've got another bookcase. It's full of, like, my um, Bible study books and my devotional books. The bookcase behind me is just a hodgepodge of, like, everything. Um, like, literally everything. My closet still has a crap ton of stuff in it. Um, which some of it I can't take out until after my room is built. Because we're making another, we're doing like an 8 by 10 off the side of the house. Um, so I have a distinct area as to where my sleeping quarters are and like my, what I'm calling my office. So my kitchen office area is going to be separate from my bedroom. Um, so it just depends like the easiest thing to move will be my bed. Um, so yeah, I'll probably move my bed to the new part and maybe a bookshelf, probably, probably the small black one will go with me and I've got some decor and stuff that's going to go, um, I think some of the stuff in this room is going to go with me. I've got a lamp that's going to go. I've got some shelves. Um, yeah, my clothes, obviously, but I don't have a dresser. So we're working on that. <sighs> Lots of water. Try to keep myself going. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to hop on here. I've been, it's been a little busy. And I'm working, I had 37 hours last week, I've got 40 this week, and I'll, it, that's how it's going to be until further notice, is about 40 hours. Um, which isn't bad, it just makes things pretty tiring, and, um, but it's worth it, 
because I'm able to do more stuff. And I've got, I still got bowling on Thursday nights. And, um, it's great. We're almost done, though. I think March or April is our last month. So we're coming up on the close, which is kind of sad because I won't see my best friend every week now. Um, but I'm still teaching at church. And this Sunday will actually be a year since I switched over um, to my new family. Well, they're not really new. Um, let me put this way. It's been a year since I've officially became part of the family. Um, because I was already involved with them anyway. It's just I made things official by moving over there. And um, it's been really good. I've formed new friendships and... I felt like I've I've seen myself grow a little bit more, especially doing the middle school, high school class. I'm having to study a lot more right now. We are in the book of Exodus, and so um, it's been a fun book so far with, with the group of kids I have, um, and I'm still doing Camp Ileana. I've got Camp Iliana coming up at the end of July, um, which I'm super excited for that. I cannot wait to hear the theme. Um, they gave us a clue at Winterfest. Something had to do with a switch, which could be interesting. So, we'll see what happens there. Um, what else? In August, so August 29th, two days, no, 27th, 28th, 29th, yeah, two days after my birthday in August, I'm leaving for Disney World. I'll be down there for a week. My brother and sister-in-law are taking me for my first ever Disney trip, which is so exciting. Um, we're going to be down there for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and we're also going to be down there for um, Epcot's Food and Wine Festival. Which is a double amazingness. On top of being down at Disney. I mean. A party. And a festival. You can't really beat that. Sorry that the it, things keep changing. Like yeah. I am i don't know what I'm. I, I'm also filming on a new phone. Which is why the video is a little bit clearer. Than normal. Um, my computer doesn't want me to take video anymore. So I'd been using my phone. And I ended up getting a brand new phone. And I like this one better because the picture is so much better than my last one was. Um, see what else? Oh my, sorry. Um, I may have to get myself some, myself an apple here. I've got like an entire bag of apples sitting on the black shelf to my left. Um great snackage. I've also got stuff in the fridge. Like, I've got some blueberries. I might get into my blueberries. Into my blueberries? Am I a pie right now? Say what? Um, I figured out my clothing for my Disney trip. Um, I'm making two shirts. I'm making a shirt that I will wear on Sunday, because we're leaving on a Saturday getting down to Orlando on a Sunday. And then we're going to Disney Springs. And so, I'm going to make a shirt that says, my first Disney trip um, and I'll, they'll say, um, 2020 on it, and then, um, I'll, just, I'll, I'll get a first trip button, and I will get a birthday button, because we're celebrating my birthday down there, too. Um, so, that's that, and then I have a Simba shirt, it has a hood that has ears, I'm wearing that to Animal Kingdom. To Epcot, I have a purple shirt that has purple glitter vinyl on it. This says, I want adventure in the great wide somewhere. So that one's my Epcot shirt. And then I have a Mickey Mouse shirt that is like a heather gray. And it's kind of like vintage looking. And I'm wearing that on Animal Kingdom. Not Animal Kingdom, but Magic Kingdom. And then I'm going to make a white shirt with a 
black Princess Leia head on it that says Rebel Princess um, for Hollywood Studios. Um, I was going to try to find a Baby Yoda one because I'm not exactly a fan of Star Wars, but I do love me some Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda is like the cutest thing ever. And, but I thought, I'm like, well, I'm very much a Disney princess. My nickname is princess. If I'm going into Galaxy's Edge, let me first say, if I'm arriving in Galaxy's Edge, then I need to go all out. And as being nicknamed princess, I need to go rebel princess. So I'm going to have the white shirt with the Princess Leia head on it. And, um, writing on it says Rebel Princess. Um, I know, <laughs> I know that's asking for trouble when I arrive into Batu, but I can't help it. And considering Star Wars is now franchised under Disney, Princess Leia is a Disney princess. I don't have to be happy about it, but it still fits. Within what I want to do. I was going to do Tinkerbell originally. I was going to do like. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I was going to do. I was going to do. Oh, I was just going to do like a green glitter Tinkerbell. On a white shirt. And then I thought about doing a white shirt. With a black outline of Sorcerer Mickey's hat. With like dark blue glitter. And, um, yellow glitter paint. Um. So. Maybe. I mean, I could still make it, and that could be my, um. Shirt for On the Way Home. And, um. Unless I find one. Because we're going to the character warehouse, too. And, um. So I may pick up a couple of things there. Actually, I know I will. Um, I'd like to pick up some pins. Um, as much as I know that ears are expensive, I'd like to pick up a pair of ears. Because um, I have one pair of Disney licensed ears. Um, and I have a pair of Disney ears that I made. Obviously, you could tell which ones I made and which ones I bought. Because, well... Mine don't look too great. Um, I'll show you. I don't know if you could... Yeah, let me see. Check this way. Whoops. Okay, so... Those... These right here... Those I made. Those... The pink ones... I bought. But the ones that I showed you that I made... They are, um... Beauty and the Beast inside. And Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney movie. Belle is my favorite princess. Which is why my Epcot shirt says, I want adventure in the great wide somewhere. Um, and so, yeah. But that's kind of like my plans. And I'm hoping to work at like another Chrysalis or maybe in Emmaus. Maybe this fall. I'm not able to this spring. Um, because of the whole work situation. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just like all over the place in this video. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to hop on and give a update. I know this video has been kind of weird and random, but... I figure, you know, that's kind of just... It's really kind of who I am. I am kind of weird and I'm really random. Um, my friends know that about me and... Most of them, I think, love that about me, but I have no idea. But, um, yeah, until I, so I'm going to stop the video here so I don't continue to ramble because I feel like I'm just rambling and I will talk to you all later. And remember, you are awesome. Bye, guys.